What up, everybody? It's Sister Citizen. Hi oh, here. Let me turn my lips on. Boy, Kisha. There we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> it's Sister Citizen. Thank you guys for joining me this Thursday. Duckfoot, what you driving in? Got your subwoofers out. The family show, Duckfoot. You're not supposed to have your, uh, your subwoofers out in front of everybody. Thank you guys for joining me today. But thank you for being in the game and in the chat, boss May. <laughs> Got my favorite colors on today. What is this car, Duckfoot? Is this a prize ride or something? This doesn't look like something you'd buy on purpose. Let me see. BF Club Compact. Ah, I glow. Fam, we're gonna be making some money today. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Actually, here, let me do my own sound check here. Check one, two, check one, two. Let me see, let me see. Yep. All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna drive this around recklessly, recklessly. Okay, finally, we have double money, right? On our uh, special cargo. Now, I gotta admit, Whoa, whoa, what? No, I got it. Here, can we turn this music up on here? That's it. We gotta let everybody hear what we're what we're jamming on here. Let me find a good song and we'll turn it up here. Let me see. Sound. Ooh, okay, here. We'll do this. We'll do this. Oh, no, this doesn't rock hard enough. James the station here. Ooh, okay, this is, a, this is nice for an evening drive, right? Okay, here, here, here. I'm going to turn up these subwoofers, fam. Yeah! Yeah! Look at this. Ah, yeah. Let's drive into the sunset, people. We're going to make some money today. <laughs> Done for bringing the subwoofers. But let's go look at the sunset. Ah, yeah. Okay, we're just gonna fool around before we get into the action. Whoa, whoa! Pretty sure I scuffed up your car. Hey, what's up, Sinistan? Two times great! I know, I was streaming yesterday on my other channel, and uh, some of the fam was over there watching, and they were like, it's two times uh, special cargo. I'm like, stop messing with me. I thought they were lying! I was like, no. Okay, whoa, whoa, I'll, I'll fix that rim. All right, sorry, guy. Sorry, guy. Sorry, I made you drop your coffee. Yeah, boy. Okay, no, I got it. I thought he was messing with me, fam. I thought he was messing with me. <laughs> I got off the stream and I looked. I was like, hell yeah. I kind of gave up on, on one of my warehouses because I thought, eh. We're never going to... I don't know if we'll ever see that double money again. But fam, they surprised us. The player count must have been low enough. Anyway, I know where I am. I know where I am. There I am. Play the player count must have been low enough. <laughs> they were like, okay, okay, we've punished them enough. Let's let them make some money now. Unless there might be some new games coming out or something. They want to make sure they don't lose us. Sinistan, how you doing, by the way? This fine Thursday. Duckfoot, here. I got a warehouse. Duckfoot, do you have a warehouse? Am I registered? Oh, not here. Let me register. Duckfoot, are you, uh, do you have any, any crates to sell? I got one full warehouse and like two I'm working on and one that's almost full. When you're ready to move out here and make real money. Fill up, I'm going to be filling warehouses all week. This is the week we all want, fam. Why? Everybody needs to be on the game this week. I'm so hyped to make some, some goddamn money. Always oh, goddamn broke. All right, all right. Hire associates. You know, I would say Duckfoot is more than an associate. He's, he's uh, uh, like a like a like a backup gun, a, a, a front up gun, a side man, a left hand man, a right hand man, a business man, serious man, a dangerous man. Okay, look. First off, we're gonna make. Look, I'm broke. Okay. I'm getting better though. What do I got? Press the button first. Look at this. I'm coming up, people. Okay, I got eight million. It was more, but I bought like two warehouses. You know, I, you know, I'm always broke, but I'm coming up. I haven't bought anything though that was like not business related. 
guys i'm tired of being tired of be oh okay you do got some that foot all right all right you can help me um we'll do my uh i have a little warehouse that's full and then we'll do yours get a big one or a little one giggity okay you don't have to answer that in the, in the public chat <laughs> didn't say how many warehouses you have okay let me see let me see i got one that's full full like done like i can't put no more in it and then i got uh i, I just bought two last night and then i got two that are like mid kind of like a large i don't know i don't know i know i got one full one though so i at least want to get that one done also still my warehouse not my warehouse bunker my bunker is like bulldocious okay bulldocious isn't a word here, here, okay here's where here's what i'm looking at i got one little one that's full and ready to go okay she's at 100 percent. all right she's 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 locked and loaded then i got this one what's this one seven percent barely barely and then i just got these wait no this one is like i said seven okay 18 percent. but this is like a large one so i don't have much but i do have one full one and i just got these because they're like right next to the salvage yard and uh my nightclub so that way i can do a twofer you know and you make your nightclub and so you know what i'm saying you guys see what i did here one next to the arcade you guys get what i'm doing okay so i do have one full warehouse i got one full one and then you know what i kind of want to do i kind of want to do a warehouse like a cargo mission like not pay for it, source it but to source it because i think i've only done maybe a few of those you know what i'm saying but looking good what you got on today all right that's what i feel like you've aged a little bit since you're did you is this your this is your xbox character which is our attorney at law i feel like i feel like you've put your two characters together i like it i like the merger i love the merger Okay, if you want, I can help you fill and or sell at least for a short time. I have tons of money already. If you're on PS5, send a stand. You thought about giving me some shares? Okay, look, these are these Hi little, um, here, we'll do, do, we'll do an export real fast because these are 100 G's right now. Well, let's go. So long. These are 100 G's. Might as well do it, right? I, I didn't even know about this, that the mixed goods were 100K. I make your money anywhere I can, fam, okay? Don't judge me. Sister's trying to come up. Got a lot of things brewing in the pot today. <laughs> okay. We got Lupe on the hey, phone. Yes, what's up? We got that stuff all loaded up for you on the no, flight. You driving? We flying? Right the warehouse. Nothing left to do but deliver. Ship's waiting at the docks. I That's say watch your back, but look who the fuck I'm talking to, right? Let's fly, let's fly. We got the nighttime. We got the nighttime, uh, what you call it. Oh, oh is this you over here, Duckfoot? Yeah, 14 minutes, fam. I'm gonna press her. I swear to you, whenever I start streaming, it's perfectly like a beautiful, lovely day. But as soon as I, there goes, as soon as I <laughs> hit the go live stream, <laughs> Rockstar's like, all right, go ahead and uh, bring the sun down. She's about to go live. Go ahead and make it nighttime. And three, two, one. Nice. Make it as dark as possible. <laughs> Alrighty. Can you call your assistant to do these? I feel like it would shave down some time, but then that would be easier. And of course, Rockstar never does that. It never does that. It never does that. It never makes anything easy for us. Holy Kasha. You hear that fit? All right, all right. She said she had a chick staring at her ass all day. Girl, you better just be happy about it. <laughs> Somebody's staring at your ass. That's what I say. 
know, as long as they're not staring too long, but... Let's go, let's go. Got this. This isn't bad, 100, uh, 100,000 to deliver these. I already did a couple of these. But uh, you, you can't you can't beat a hundred D's for these like simple deliveries. I don't know. It's so crazy when I first started playing this game. <laughs> the, <laughs> the NPCs used to freak me out. Like I used to be so worried about the NPCs all the time. You know. I mean, I guess you still have to be for like you know ice and stuff like that, where there's a lot of NPCs. But like these missions. For the NPCs chase you, fam. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they can get like in the way, you know what I mean? But I remember when I first started playing GTA, man, the NPCs used to freak me out. You get all flustered by them. <laughs> now they're like flies, you know what I mean? You just want to swat them out of the way. But I remember they used to create, I guess that's kind of how it is with, in, most ga in most games. You know, when you have like NPCs you gotta worry about. At first, they, they totally figure out they're bad guys, and then after a while, you're like, whatevs. <laughs> Especially like in zombie games, stuff like that, you know? How many of you watched the, uh, the Walking Dead? That's why I stopped watching The Walking Dead. Like the first, like the first season. I, I don't know, let's see, the first season and a half first two seasons it was really good right because they were all freaked out by the zombies like the zombies were scary at first they were like the center of everything and then it seemed like all of the all of the characters got used to the zombies they weren't you know what I mean like the cast they weren't afraid of the zombies anymore like they had set up settlements and doors are you know nice and tight and they're in lockdown facilities you know like this where the zombies can get in so <laughs> i was like well what about the zombies fam you guys fighting over boxes of food i want to see some zombie action but i don't know i got bored with it i heard it got better you know a, like a couple seasons after that but i was like fam this isn't even a zombie series anymore you guys <laughs> they don't even care about the zombies anymore had a whole infrastructure, you know what I mean? There was no zombie threat any longer after like season two, so. Hey, what's up, Ricardo? Hey, what's up, Mark? Hey, Ken's here. A whole bunch of people popped in. You found me yesterday, Ken? Hey, welcome. I'm glad you found me, Ken. You like to be called Ken M, K M, K Money, K. Uh, Rizzo? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you like to be called. What's Ricardo talking about? Hey, everyone. Happy Thursday. And everyone, hi, friends. How are you doing today? We're doing great, Ricardo. Now that you're here, fam. Since Dan says, I have zero filled hot off guard. I thought two times would be more like summertime. That's what I thought, too, since Dan. I was like, like every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? Just in case. Let me put something... Oh, foot, you have something to fly? To fly? I think we need to, uh, a warehouse to sell over by my arcade. Here on market. You can fly us over there. That would be delightful. That would be delightful. This one is full. This one. It's right here, Bluey, because Chad has his money right here. This is money, people. I think it said it's worth 700000 I could be brave and try to sell it in the public, but nah, son. I've been filling that warehouse for, like, six months. Just a little bit of time. A little bit of time. I'd be too mad about it. Even if I sold another warehouse that I just bought and filled it and it had the same amount and it, like I got griefed and my cargo, like I wouldn't be as mad as this one because <laughs> it took me like six months, like a little bit at a time to fill it up. I wasn't expecting it either, Sinistan. I thought we had such trash weeks that there was no way that they were going to give us like this one this good, you know what I mean? Like so fast. I think they did that on purpose. They got us used to trash weeks and then they were like, all right, we're gonna show them, ha catch everybody off guard so nobody will have shit in their warehouse. I know some people like keep their warehouses, warehouses, warehouses. 
warehouses. Some people keep their warehouses full all the time. But I'm too nervous to do that. I'm afraid to get raided. Is it CEO or MC that you get raided with your with your warehouse? I think it's CEO, right? I thought you got something to fly. He's probably calling something in. What's that on your suit? Do I put like little scrolls? It's your lawyer outfit. Right, it looks good. E oh, e money. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Some pretzels. What are these? Slip knots. I don't understand what it's okay i mean if that's if that's the style <laughs> my mom used to tell me that can we call anything in here duckfoot you call it an actual plane hey i'm gonna follow duckfoot i see an oppressor here let me call something in area my i'm the ceo around here people let's call in a just calling the buzzer. Hop in, Duffit. We got business. We got business. Hey, what's up, bowling? Watching blades, Duffit. Safety first. All right, people. Hey, let's go sell this warehouse. I haven't sold a warehouse in a long time. It says it's worth 700. Seven hundred. I'm not cool. <laughs> Seven hundred. Every time I say that in real life, you'd be like, "You're so corny." I'm sorry. I didn't mean to see seven hundred. Do people even say hundred anymore? It's lame. I think it said it's worth like seven hundred and seven hundred and forty thousand. And I'll take that. This is broke. You know, I got light bills. Got paid Duckfoot here for his time. You know what I mean? He's got. Cases that he's got to be working on. <laughs> uh, Bolly, what you talking about? The M is the first letter of my last name, so Ken is fine. All right. I was looking forward to something like K Dizzle, but you know, Ken's good. <laughs> Welcome, Ken. Welcome, Ken. Okay. Here, let me land. Okay, wait. What are you talking about, Sinistan? You have zero fuel caught off guard. I read that. Me right here. Playing this bird. Here, let me land her over here. Let me land her over here. I, learned, I took my uh, flying at trade school, my uh, Los Santos piloting school. This was uh, week three. How to land in tight alleys for. Uh, Thugs 101. Got it. Got it. <laughs> you got an A in that class, fam. Okay. Back for you got armor and everything. They hook more people in uh, with the extra free million in other games now. Hike the price. Oh, yeah. They're making GTA Plus more now. Did you hear that, fam? It's going to be like. Seven ninety nine now. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to add stuff to it. You know what I mean? Hey, Lupe. Let's, see, let's look at what we got here. I never actually look at what we got. Got some kind of strange, uh, strange Fabergé egg here. Somebody probably misses that. I bet it belonged to somebody with like porcelain doll collections. You know what I mean? I'm feeling egg collection, porcelain doll collection right next to this eggs. All right, we got furs here. Of course, I'm definitely against, you know, making furs uh, out, of, out of live animal skins. Obviously, we'd get reported to the uh, newly formed animal operation center here. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I'm gonna have to talk to my people about this, but we should get pretty good, pretty, pretty good money for that. Maybe, maybe whoever buys them will burn them, okay? Just for the animal's sake. All right, this blue stuff here, candy, All right? Candy. Bye. Don't do drugs, kids. All right, money that's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny money. <laughs> Look at this stuff. What's this? Bunch of suitcases? Stealing people's laptops from the airport? 
is this what this is? Shame on us. Shame on us. Somebody has their essay in there. Like somebody has their whole college thesis written on one of those laptops. Should be ashamed. Let's sell this down. Ammo. See, now we're talking. It's a good stuff right here. Nobody was harmed, you know, with those. Somebody's missing their whole dissertation because of us. All right, let's sell some stuff. Can we do all the- Ah, oh, it's worth 450. Okay, it's full though. We can do this, right? Ah, oh, no, we'll try. My other one is like, barely full. You ready to make this sale? Yeah, Our yeah. Our cargo's on a plane at LSIA. Fly it out to the drop-off, land, and the funds go into your account. Safe flight, boss. Got this. This is uh, Los Santos piloting week seven. We're gonna make us fly. I it's all good. I got this. I'm a pilot. Got a license. Man, I haven't done a cargo mission in a hot, steamy minute. I mean, I don't know why the minute has to be steamy, but. I just haven't done it in a while, like, okay? This is what I'm saying. Bowling says Rockstar gave a good week to try to distract people from the GTA pre uh, Plus price hike. I know. Man, aren't they just... Oh, Rockstar! You wanna... Oh, you wanna slap them and then you wanna hug them and then you wanna slap them again, you know what I mean? Oh, definitely. <laughs> Oh, plane's over here. I should have jumped. I should have, uh, I need to pay more attention to Dugfoot. All right, here's a plane here, people. Look, the plane's over here. He's getting on his oppressor. Okay, I got this, fam. I got this. How much time we got? 28 minutes. Man, we got this. Stuck foot, you flying behind? <laughs> Giggity, is that a gig? I don't know. I'm gonna fly behind. I think he's gonna fly behind. All right, everybody buckle up. We flying on the Sister Citizen Express. Everybody please fasten your seatbelts. Be heading to the runway here shortly. Be clearing a runway for us for takeoff be at our destination in less than five minutes hopefully there's no pilot error we should all make it there easily but uh you never know at 27 minutes on the clock we're flying over los santos today it's uh partly cloudy experiencing a little bit of fog but uh, we should be able to see the uh, sides of los santos All right, if everybody will look out the left-hand side of your window, you'll see the LSIA airport. That's where I got my uh, pilot's license. It's a great school if you're ever interested in becoming a pilot. Doing legal things. Legal stuff. Um, I choose to do other things, but, uh, you know, it's good money in uh, being a pilot. If you look off to the right-hand side, you'll see the yacht club i'm a member there I like to go there on sundays have mimosas it's a uh, it's a great place to spend your sundays you know when i'm not flying illicit you know drugs or coats things like that across the city now i will ask that uh everybody make sure your seat belts are fastened we may encounter some resistance but we will get the plane here uh safely Make sure to uh, go ahead and hit those buttons above your seat if you're looking for a fresh and refreshing drink during our flight. If you look below us, you'll see the Vinewood Hills off to the right there. It's the uh, Vinewood sign. Had a lot of people uh, do a lot of strange things up there, but uh, you know, it's the landmark here in Los Santos.
Oh, here we go. Okay, stop messing around. Let me pay attention. Let me pay attention. Let me pay attention. We gotta fly low, right? Do some crazy stuff. Duckfoot's already, I think, taking out some fools. Do I gotta land or drop it? Okay, no, we gotta drop it. We gotta drop it. We gotta drop it. We gotta drop it. Land the plane to deliver. Oh, I gotta land it. Okay, okay. Duckfoot's got me. All right, fam. Hang on, hang on. Put on your seatbelts. Put on your seatbelts. Let me let Duckfoot clean the house. I don't want to stall out. Don't let me stall out. All right, all right, all right. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Fam. Nice. Duck foot cleaned it up. Nice. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm telling you. Los Santos piloting school. Call now. <laughs> We did that shite. Duckfoot, here, let me dissipate. I, I don't know. That's not what you call it. All right, I'm looking for a job, Duckfoot. I'm ready to work. Tired. Boy, Kasha. Okay, I, I didn't mean to punch the camera to look cool. I just pressed the O button by accident. All right, Duckfoot, I'm ready. Let's deliver some stuff. I didn't even take a bullet or nothing. Did you see that? Week seven. All right, here, Duffy. I'm gonna get caught up with the chat. Wait for your invite. Sometimes you gotta, you know, spread the love, help your friends. Okay, here, let me see. Bowling says if GTA Plus is required for GTA 6, then they will not get my money. Yeah, a lot of people saying that. I don't know. I feel like people say that now, but you know damn well. You know. Getting your MK? All right. Get mine too. Although this like, this truck here is nice, right? Get mine too. Well, this is my, this is my lab. I own this. Oh. Been, haven't been up here in a minute. <laughs> it goes to show how much I run these MC businesses. God damn. That's what we need to bounce. Okay, here, did I accept? Oh, Duckfoot's got a chopper. Let me get in the chopper. All right, let's make some deliveries. Get in the chopper. All right, here, let me get caught up with you guys. Gotta work for the man. <laughs> the boss main, okay, all right. Okay, here, let me see. Music up in here. Let's see. What? Oh, here we go. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Here, let me get cut up with the guys. Bowling says PC players will have to wait at least a year after GTA 6 releases on console to play it. I wouldn't be surprised. Don't freak them out, though. You're going to upset them. <laughs> Don't upset people about GTA 6 online and stuff getting delayed. You're gonna upset them. People are taking this so serious, fam. GTA 6, man. People are making life plans around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, honey, I can't get that job the last part of 2025. I just, I know they wanna pay me 200,000 a year, but GTA 6 is coming out. I just wanna be, <laughs> Right? Delaying weddings. <laughs> Bonadu says, um, I hope they don't kill the current GT online until the new one can take 
PC players. Yeah, it's gonna be weird to split it up like that, right? Like PC players can't play GTA 6 online, but next gen people can, but PS4 people are still on GTA 5 and can't even get on GTA 6. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, are we here? Ready to work, boss. Boss man. <laughs> we'll do this. That's the, this isn't full. Make your money though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you just sent her out. All right, sweet. I feel like I should just sell all of mine anyway, fam. I guess I should sell my other one. I just want to sell the ones that I've been working on for a while. I don't care about the new ones, but I put a lot of blood and sweat and tears into those. Okay. What are we doing? Okay, here we go. Hi. Oh, they put us in the brig Oh, we're we're good, fam. We're in a brigade. Brigade? Brigade 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 brigade. All right. I'm guessing it's my job to shoot suckers in the face as we drive, I'm guessing. That's what I'm getting paid for here, people. Oh yeah, they'll definitely, bowling, they'll definitely keep uh, GTA Online, um, 5 Online going. That's probably why they're trying to make, you know, make it a friendlier place. Cinecent says if there's a new GT Online iteration, they'll eventually kill off the old one. Many players want a new thing and eventually the old online will be like RDO little updates. I agree. There's still going to be a large amount of people though who will still be on PS4, I think even next year, just because, you know, unless the prices come down on, PS, on PS5 and, um, uh, the Xbox Series X by the time GTA 6 comes out, which I hope because I want everybody to be playing, you know, I want everybody to be like, hell yeah, on that first day and everybody just be hyped together and stuff, you know, like, I hope by that time the, the prices come down on it so everybody can, oh, here, let me pay attention, so everybody can like, you know, open our gifts on the same day. Oh, is that it? That was the easiest delivery ever. Really? Did anybody shoot at us? That, that was dope. Okay, here, you know what else I wanna do? Since it's daytime. Let's do one of those, um, which I've never done. Unless you got another one, definitely. You got another one? If there's a new GT online. Okay, I read that. Hey, Cecil. Cecil Freaks. I love that name. How you doing, Cecil? Good to see you. Cecil, you selling your warehouses? Or packing them tight? Putting some boxes in them? That's it. You got another one? Let me know. Uh, while we figure out what we're doing next, boy, kisha. Hit that like button. Boom. Boy, boy, kisha. Like and subscribe. You don't have to. Only if you want to. Only if you want to. Only. If you want to, okay. That's weird. <laughs> I just scared everybody away. Ooh! Look at the sunlight bling on this. Look at this. That puts my attorney, by the way. I pay him entirely too much. <laughs> okay, here, let's do a Martin Madrazo. Can you, you can't call him. I have never, ever, 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 ever done one of these. You know where it is, Duckfoot? He's a, somewhere. Is it something like crazy, like quadruple? I have a weekly update. You know what? Here, wait, Duckfoot. If you know where it is, we can head over there. I think you can just do it in your menu, but okay, look, we'll look at the weekly update. Speaking of, I have it here. I have it right here. They are right here. Okay, boom, boom. Executive bonuses. You You're an executive, people. It's all about you. All about you this week. <laughs> okay. Look, folks, look. Stop messing around, sister. Okay, let me turn the game down. 
All right, here we go, people. Double rewards on special cargo sales and mixed goods. Okay, not just a single good. The mixed ones, all, all of the mixed ones. Watch executive profits soar. Receive a hundred thousand, a hundy, I can't say, hundred K, a hundred thousand dollars. Guys, what do you say? What do you call money now? I don't want to be, I don't want to not be cool. Ducats. People say ducats. It's taking too long to explain this. You get what I'm saying. You get a hundred thousand K for completing any cell mission and more. What's the more? The road to success is paved with hard work, loose approach, blah, 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 shed some weight, illegal contraband, the highest bidder, special cargo, sell missions. I see all these letters here in bold. This just means sell your stuff, and we're going to make some serious money on it. Ad hoc's website, blah, blah, blah. So here's a check here, as, as shown in the recently done mission. You guys were there. We just did this. You've never done it. At least you could say you've seen it. I don't know. Of course you've done this. That's silly. Okay, a hundred thousand for one of those. Yeah, this is what we're about to do. Look at this. Madrazo contact missions. Missions, 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 missions. Madrazo, jazzo, jazzo, jazzo. Contact missions, missions. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it looks like ah, I've never done this. So let's see. Two times GTA money and four times RP. Four times, not two. Okay, not double. Two is double. I don't know. It's redundant. But you get what I'm saying. Four times RP. I've never done any of these. Contact missions. Learn the ropes from one of the best in the business. Rise through the ranks and benefit from two times DTA money and four times RP for completing any Martin Madrazo contact mission. Fantastical. I've never done these. Anybody done these? Oh, you need my sniper rifle? This looks intense. Okay, what are we looking at here? Collection time. Two times GTRP on collection time. Secure the bag and collection. Uh, what is collection time? Can you? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. They're talking about the salvage yard. I get it. I see what they're saying. Oh, okay. They're in the arena and they're in the seats and the, I see what they, the bags of money. Okay. I see what they did there. Okay. Let's see what at least is at, uh, what's his face is. Uh, premium deluxe motorsport. We got a lot of nice cars here. What does this look? How do these cars look like they're the exact same cars? Some of these look the exact same, right? Like the Cognitenti, Cognosip, Kikakimen. I don't know what that's. See, I had a hard time pronouncing it last time. That's how I know it's been there like recently. Look at the Hustler. Hey, okay. I'm mm, ah. classic GTA car. And the uh, 770. It's a nice looking ride right there. I don't know if I'd buy it. I don't know if I'd buy it, but it's nice. Turn the music down. We're jamming a little bit too hard for a Thursday night. Premium Deluxe Motorsport. What do we got? Ubermock, Revolter, Vapid Click, Dubachi, Vapid Hustler, Enos, Cognizant, Luxury Auto Showroom. A lot of the same old, same old. What do we got here? The Dominator again. Okay, that's not new. Vivante. V Vivanite. V Vivanite. Never heard of it. Never heard of it, but it looks dope. I don't know. Maybe we'll maybe we'll swing by and put our eyeballs on it. All right, this is me right here. Except, you know, I get more money. Okay, no, I don't. But she looks fabulous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be that. I'm going to be that. Goals, people. I guess you get some uh, discounts. Executive dif discounts. 30% off. Through April 17th on upgrades and all that stuff. So if it's time to redecorate. Recently re redecorated my CEO office. I was getting bored with it. I had it for years. So hey, this is the time to change it up. You want to change it up, switch it up, smack it up. Does that, wait, does that include the uh, garage? Hmm. Does that include the garage fam? Would be nice. Oh, look at this t shirts. I think that's from last. Uh, those are my pants. Those are the male version. That's like a repeat, right? All right, we don't care about this. GTA Plus. All right, that's the update. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Here, let me close this window. I love the uh, warehouse, though. That's that's super dope. All right, Duck Foot, where we got? Did we do the mission already? <laughs> 
I know, what do you guys think of the cars and stuff on, sta on sale? I might actually... I might actually, um... Redecorate my CEO office. I might be feeling that. Hey, uh, D... D, uh, Glyce? D, D... D, 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 Glyce? I hope I'm saying that right. Have a nice stream. Hey! Low prices. Okay. <laughs> In IG, low prices. Have a nice stream. All right. Nice to meet you, fam. Dennis Sands, um... Oh, we can do it from the start menu. All right, Deathfoot. You got a... Oh, Deathfoot's been... Oh, go ahead and uh, load up your warehouse, fam. Wait, do I have a warehouse here, too? Oh, I can't. I'm, I'm working for Deathfoot. Cinestan says, I've done a lot of them, not all the newer dispatch missions, though. Let's do a couple of them. Definitely, let's do a um, Madrazo. You want me to start it up? Or Here, let me let me start it. What you gonna waste this at? Or maybe you can start it up because you're the CEO. I don't know. Madrazo? Should be under missions, right? Well, this must be one. That's four times RP. I got some... I've got seven trucks for you, and soon you're gonna have seven burning wrecks for me, okay? Great! Is this it? Four times RP, it must be it. Okay, here, we'll do it. It says four times RP. All right, we'll do it. Okay, yeah, it's a Martin job. I'll bookmark this too, so I'll know which ones they are. It's always good to do that. Okay, we'll do this on hard effort. Armed, arm settings. Okay, we'll do one of these. I've never, ever, 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 ever done one of these. Didn't done do it. You can call them too. I like. I don't have them as a contact on the on my phone. Maybe I tip them off. Just because I never didn't done done do this one. <laughs> Forgive my English. Kitty's sharpening his claws. I got him this really cool uh, claw sharpener. Usually the ones that like I don't know if anybody has cats, but usually the their their uh, uh, claw claw sharpeners, those like claw post things, are so ugly. Like they don't ever make any of them that look good. You know, any kind of cat furniture just looks crazy bad. But I found a really cool. Cat scratcher. It's got like a nice dark wood case. Well, it's not really a case. It's like plywood, but it looks fancy. You know what I mean? Got that IKEA peel off plywood, but it looks nice. And I go to the my Batsu factory. But you got a oppressor? Or no? Or we could drive or whatever. Whatever. How far is the factory? Oh, that's not far. Let's drive. Let's drive, Deathfit. That's not. <laughs> it's definitely an, an attorney's car. All right, let's go. Four four times RP. What rank am I? I don't even know. Rank two forty one. Two forty one. Never pay attention to that until I actually rank up. Like, if I were offline and somebody's like, what rank are you, sister? I'd be like, I don't know. I don't know. Something to something. <laughs> you should have all contact. Uh, you should have all contacts. Gerald, Simeon, Martin, Ron, Lester, Lamar, etc. Unless you hid them. I probably hid them because I looked at my phone. I think I took them out. I only put the necess the necessities. I'll have to change my preferences. I think I took them out of my phone. Oh goddamn! To destroy the trucks. It's not better than a pistol.
Oh, okay. Just forgot it. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get in there and get these tracks set for... I'm gonna hold my arm out like this. I don't know, just so I'm ready. <laughs> here it is, here it is, here it is. Done, done, son! Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. I just need my arm, I just wanna be ready, you know what I mean? Just in case. How <laughs> oh, you lose an arm though? Okay, here, ready, ready, ready. Oh, you can shot! Done, done! I like Martin's jobs. We got another truck over here. It's like old school mission, right? Just do a little, just, just a little cleanup work, basically. Just a little cleanup work. You know? Fancy, no heisting, no diamonds, no gold bars. Just a little cleanup work. Oh, a few, you know, crime lords money. You, they force you to do jobs for them. Bada bing, bada bing, you owe them a favor. Doing this on foot. We're doing the rest of this on foot. Doing the rest of the song for people. <laughs> what the hell? They put a little vibrato in that. Mama <laughs> <Lala baka. laughs> These NPCs crack me. Okay, come on now. Shoot somebody, sister. These NPCs crack me up sometimes. You go this way, I go that way. We got Mendoza. Only take a few seconds to get Mendoza. <laughs> oh, here's a truck right here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Easy. Like don't play. All right. Guess we finished it. <laughs> hey, do they do they just send you to the next? Uh... Hey, what's up, Farming Sins? Farming Sins. I love that. What's up, homie? What's up, Farming Sins? All right, here, let me see what you're saying. Since then says that, okay, wait. This one. Sinistan says you should have all kinds. Okay, I read that. Sinistan says this is where I don't use my MK2 and regular OG car when doing contact missions. Like to play them like they were originally intended, right? It's like taking me back a little bit. It reminds me of like my playlist. You guys used to have playlists. It was on hard too. Remember, remember your playlists that people used to make back in the day? Before they like really have businesses, you do your uh, playlists, you bookmark it, run through it, you know? It's cool, I love it. These missions are fun. They're worth doing too for the, for triple RP, definitely they're worth doing. Even if it's not like hella money, like, some people have like tons of money, but I mean, why not level up? Even veteran players want that. So you can quadruple RP be interested in doing that go to the Marlowe Valley Vineyard oh we gotta be fancy that foot take out the judge I mean we can't just walk in with guns right if I try to act natural this guy's strapped I don't think you're supposed to be here oh. asshole. okay let me get a lock on the judge. I thought we could just walk by. Not the case. 
Oh, there's something wrong with my controller. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's something wrong with my, what do you call it? I tried to fix it too last night. My, what do you, what do you call it? The pad on the PS controller? Is this Judge, uh, oh, is he running? He's running, Deathfoot. Oh. Sit down, Frank. See how it switches like that? Just by itself. Deathfoot, I think he's on the run. Look at that. It's something to do with my running, I think. If I switch my bumpers, oh, I think he's on the run. Deathfoot, we gotta chase him through these fields! Arm action, arm action! I guess I could call him my oppressor, but that wouldn't be as dramatic. Is he driving or running? Oh, I don't know. Duckfoot, we may not be able to catch him. Fool. Not you, him, him. He's a fool. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here, let me call him my oppressor. I'm be running like that. Who's what's that bolt guy? <laughs> God damn! Is he on foot? Hey, don't kill him, uh, Duckfoot. Like, wait for me. If you get if you get him, like, I wanna I wanna see where he is. Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Please don't kill him. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna watch the back of your head. You can catch up to him though. Who's driving? No wonder, no wonder, no wonder. I was like, God damn, Hussein Bolt. <laughs> he must be, what, is he flying? What is he on that he's not even using the roads? He must be flying. He's not even, um, he's not even using the roads. Let's see what he's in. Oh, he's in a car. He did. He wasn't even using the roads, fam. Okay, we gotta take a picture. It's like, Tommy is flying. Anybody have? Anybody else have an issue with their touchpad? We gotta wait for the flames to stop. That's just wrong. Yeah, I know, sir. I know. Let's pull it over for. Her. No way. <laughs> Did we just take the picture? I guess. I figured they didn't want him to be burning, but he's in there. He's in there. <laughs> he's in there somewhere. Nice. Every once in a while, you need to get, you need to get bumper checked. <laughs> Every once in a while, you need to get bumper checked. Hey, what's up, sugar daddy? Did you reset the controller? Is that what it is? Well, I, I, oh shit. I changed my, okay, so I changed my X, X bumper and uh, my X with my R1 bumper have something to do with it I feel like because I may actually ac accidentally touch the touchpad or something or maybe the button I don't know I may end up just taking this controller apart and because um, the haptic in it because you know the way your your controller like vibrates and moves and stuff is Hey, we're stuck, fam. I'm pretty sure we are. <laughs> how come, how come, man? Do you, like, what, like the most oddest place, the tightest squeeze you can get your, your car stuck is always where you get your, your car stuck. Anyway, there's like, a, it's like there's a piece inside of your PlayStation controller and it's like a big metal, looks like a metal, um, 
like what 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 you put thread on like a, a spool you know a little spool but except it's like made out of metal kind of like that shape and it spins around really fast inside of your controller to give you like the vi the vibrating and the haptic and stuff like that and and i can hear it spinning inside of my controller which that's not supposed to happen you're not supposed to be able to hear that thing clanking around when it spins so i feel like i don't know maybe i i could have I could have dropped it possibly and i don't know I, I, i'll probably have to end up opening it anyway because that that spinning piece in there is a little bit kind of um distracting as well it might have something to do with that i did drop this controller so it, it could be something like that but these are e these are easily fixable i always tell people don't be afraid of opening up your controller uh, they're easy to fix and fiddle around with if you ever have issues with it. Like, I've heard people completely, like, buy a whole new $60 controller because, like, a button is stuck or an analog stick is stuck. And, like, buy a whole new controller when you can just pop open, like, all you need is, like, one of those like eyeglass screwdrivers you can just pop open your controller and like the little rubber piece that's usually the problem that you have to replace costs like a dollar takes you like 10 minutes to do but a lot of people are like uh, um, afraid to open their controller it's not as complicated in there as you think but you could save yourself a lot of money on stuff like that i, I always say and there's always like a youtube video on it you know like a step that's how i did it you know, I did a step-by-step -step video, and I guarantee you I probably saved myself, you know, a couple hundred dollars on controllers. And you can just kind of open it yourself and fix it. Tinnasan says, do rooftop rumble that and uh, coveted were the OG Martin Moneymaker missions. Coveted is still there, but you have to find it. All right, in the mission... In the, in the menu, I'll look for it. Then maybe after this, uh, we'll sell a warehouse or my medium sized warehouse. It's enough to make a little money on. Hey, what's up, James? Oh, right on. You sent a friend request? Right on. Uh, I, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but you know, I've been just, I've been only kind of playing with Duckfoot lately. <laughs> kind of chill out with uh, playing with other people uh, some people get too butt hurt I'm not trying to <laughs> I'm not trying to get anybody but hurt so um, you know I appreciate the um, request James but my, fr my friend request my friend list is like said like I'm not adding or anything like that I don't know I'm just chilling out from playing with other people for a while Pleasure doing business with you. People get their feelings hurt and end up being assholes. So I I try to stay away from that. Just chilling with Duckfoot for a bit. Done. And we're still getting okay, okay, here. Do you want to back out of this and try to find that mission? What's it called? Coveted? Let's back out. Let's back out and I'll look for it. Oh wait, was that it? Trash talk. Maybe it's up here. Okay, here, let's back out, Duckfoot, and we'll look for it. Yeah, no, I, I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry. I'm trying to go full Tylerius and not really play with anybody. <laughs> Too much drama for me. Can't. I, it's not my thing. Can't deal with it. People can't like you know play cooperatively and just have fun so, without problems. It's good to like just. That's why I really want like um passive friendly lobbies. I, I would love to meet like just cool people to play missions and stuff with and then that's how you find like really cool people to play with you know 
you learn how they play and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know that I'll play with anybody unless I exactly know how they play and they know exactly how I play, you know? Are we in a public? All right, here, let me invite you to this uh, mission. Hobbies. Do weird stuff to you. Fire fam. I don't even like to spend one second in there. <laughs> Bottom dude says, I love that you just take a picture of a burning corpse. Like, trust me, bro. It's definitely the just <laughs> you would <laughs> you would stop burning. I wanted it. I, trust me, I wanted to get face shot, but he wouldn't stop burning. And you know, time. Time is money, fam. Time is money. So long. Oh, already up for another delivery. Time for them to meet you downstairs. Bunker sale too. How much money do I got? Let's go sell this medium warehouse of mine. I don't think it's a whole lot of, whole lot of cash, but. I know I won't be able to, to do it alone. Hey dude, what's going down? It's not here yet. Okay, Duckfoot, I'll meet you at yeah, I'll meet you at my other at my warehouse. Guys, I told you I was never gonna take these pants off. This might be my official outfit from here on out. Unless I make some unless I make some more female pants with the uh, with the booty like this never taking these I'm never taking these pants off ever I was gonna never take my 420 jacket off either but it covers my booty and we can't have that we need full booty visibility okay full booty visibility this is my big warehouse like the like, yeah, you know, I think it's my only large one. Let's see, if it's got a few hundred thousand in there, then it's it's worth that. Uh, it'd be worth selling. I've been working on this one for a while too. Yeah, so whenever I come around this corner, I think it's horse or creep. Hey, Keith, what's up? Ken says, I was always more of a helper to the lower levels. Yeah, I feel like You're we should, fine, right? I feel like we should always help new players. I don't know, it's just, some people, sure. I just made a video about how we should have a, a passive, passive lobby. Some people just really don't want to mix, like, like change the chemistry of the game really kind of like well that's just the way gta is okay people are gonna shoot each other and that's just the way the game is get over it like don't ruin it for everybody like <laughs> the only way people will get uh, the only way anybody would get upset that like casual players want a passive lobby is that they'll be upset that they can't shoot at us anymore like why else would that disturb you like there's a PVP lobby. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this again because it's been weighing on me. I know that I, they're saying that it's like the ban isn't as serious, but let's just talk about the term PVP, okay? And I'm not throwing shade. Again, I'll always say play how you wanna play the game. I am not the type of person to tell people how they should and shouldn't play a game. I, I play Bethesda games, okay? I make up all kinds of ways to play the same game in different ways. It, okay, that's redundant. You guys get what I'm saying. But people are getting like people got really upset about my idea, and I, I, I'm just gonna rant just really quickly on this because I just want to kind of respond <laughs> to some of the comments. I mean, people are like, "That's the way it is," you know. People can play the game the way they want to, and it's like, right? I don't want to engage in PvP. And let's be honest. Here, I'm gonna turn the music down again. 
when people say they are trolling people, you're trolling is a nice way to say you're a griefer. Okay. If you're a PVP player and you shoot somebody in the game that you don't know, and 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 what and what most of the time I see PvP play, PvP players will shoot somebody they don't know, right? Just a random, just so they can get PvP started. And like when somebody shoots me PvP, I give you like I'm just giving you the the casual player side because I feel like we always hear like the you know the the I don't want to call them regular players, but the 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 basic GTA player, right? Who accepts the game as it is um with pvp and fighting and getting blown up every two seconds but if you're if you're a pvp player and you shoot somebody that is not a friend or you don't know them or whatever and if somebody shoots me in a public lobby for pvp most of us who are casual players we shoot back not because we want to pvp with you but because we're angry right <laughs> You're like, God damn it, I got 10 minutes to, before I have to IRL go to work and I need to fill up this warehouse and this motherfucker over here is trying to PVP me. I got, you know, like I got five kids. This is my only 10 minutes to actually sit down and have fun because I got to be to work for my shift and this mother sucker over here is playing the game their way but playing it that's affecting my way. So usually we shoot back and then that's when the PVP person's like, okay, I got one. I got one. Yeah, fuck you. Like they think we're shooting back because we want a PVP with them. And usually we're shooting back because we're upset because you done fucked up our, our game with your PVP in, right? Like, yeah, I'm not throwing shade on PVP players. I just think they should be in their own lobby. They need to be in their own lobby. Right. OK, so I be, get PVP. Right. And I'm not interested in PVP at all. I'm trying to run my business. So I get pissed and I shoot back at you. And so the PVP player is like, oh, they want to play. Yay. Woohoo. Yes, I found a PVP player, somebody who's minding their own business. And then I shot them. And then so now they want to play with me. Yay. And then like you keep going after us and after us and after us. Guess what? You're a griefer. Stop saying you're a troll. If you're a PvP person and you shoot a player that you don't know and you keep shooting them if they shoot back and, you know, I got one up on you and you kill spawn or whatever you call it and you keep, you are a griefer. Stop saying you're a troll. It's like saying I shop at Target. Bitch, you shop at tar Target. <laughs> I don't know why PvP people like they like say, oh, I'm a PvP player. I'm a PvP player. I'm not a griefer. No, you know, like what are griefers? Let's define it. Griefers are people who shoot you. You don't know them. You're playing the game. They shoot you. You don't know them. Right. And you get pissed and you shoot back and they keep shooting you and one up in you. And I got you. I got you. Look at that fool. Run away. Ha ha ha. Like. We're not shooting back because we want to PvP. We're shooting back because you done pissed us off. And when people do that, guess what you're doing? You're griefing because you don't know that person. You have no idea what they were doing. You have no idea if they're even PvP. And you probably just pissed them off because they got 10 minutes to deliver their goods and you're fucking up their playtime. So I just want to go off about that again. I just, ah, I just, I, I, I'm sick of people saying they're PVP players. Oh, I just PVP. Oh, it's PVP. I, I just PVP. I watch you fuckers and you go through lobbies shooting people you don't know and complaining that everybody's like, oh, so new. And like, you don't know that that person Go to a PVP lobby, open your own lobby, go to a specific area on the map. Like, there are those of us who don't want to get shot in the face and have no interest in PVPing you at all. You know what I mean? Then you chase them down and like call them trash at the game. No, because we don't spend our time learning how to strafe and headshot. Like I don't give a shit how to strafe and headshot. I, 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 I don't kill other players. If I do, it's by accident or it's in friendly competition. And I, before I PVP somebody, I know that they want to PvP with me. I don't go ruin a PvP player's game. I don't walk into the middle of their game and be like, hey, here, uh, go sell this, do this post-op mission. You're like, bitch, I'm trying to PvP. Well, sorry, 
my fun is more important than yours and I love grinding. So here you go. And then here's the other thing. PVP players think they're the only one who's doing it, right? People have this tendency to think that they're the only one. Okay, I'm the only person driving through this lobby trying to PVP somebody. And there's usually about five or six PVP people in the lobby, right? And they're all doing it, driving around the lobby, trying to get PVP started, blowing people up, killing people. And so if you're Joe Schmo like me, you just fought off the last PVP person, right? Finally, you change a lobby or you, you know, get away from that person, you know, and of course you're a bitch, you're a bitch. You're a bitch, look, I'm going ghost. You're a bitch. No, fool, we just don't want to PVP you. <laughs> Leave us alone, right? And then two minutes later, the next PVP player comes along and does the same thing to you. That's why, like, players can't, like, people who don't PVP, that's why we can't get anything done in the public lobby. Because the PVP player who's looking around the lobby for other PVP players think they're the only ones doing that. And then as soon as they blow you up or whatever, get bored with you or whatever, and you finally like, okay, goddamn, you go outside, here comes the next PVP player trying to get it lit with you. And you're like, I don't fuck, right? So most people end up in invite only lobbies. And then what I'm hearing from people is that, well, there's invite only lobbies. So why don't you go there? Why do we have to be punished? Because you want to blow random people up for your play style. I want to meet new people. I want to help new players. When new players come into the, to a lobby, I want to help them because I want them to play the game because I want more people to play the game. And I want more people to like the game because when lots of people like a game, the developer pays attention to the game and fixes it and adds new stuff. And the game becomes even awesomer because it's popular. So I'm just going to lay it out there. And you can hate on me if you want. Fight me if you want on the term uh pvp player or i'm just trolling you're a griefer that's what griefers do they kill you and 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 on their end they're like ha ha you know having a good old time like they're having a blast but on your end you are not having fun fam you are pissed as fuck and I don't know, maybe that's what they want. So anyway, that's just my other little rant. I just think PvP players should have their own lobby. So that way nobody gets reported. Nobody gets reported because that's what goes on in that lobby, PvP. If I walk outside and somebody pops me in the noggin, I'm in a PvP lobby. What do I expect, right? People hate the idea, though. Because you know why? Because they, they want us in the lobbies. Like, they want to be able to shoot at us. That's why they don't want us in a, in a passive lobby. That's what I think. They want to bug us. Or PvP. I'm just a PvP player. No, you're not. You're a griefer. And we're only fighting back, not because we want to engage in your gameplay, because you pissed us off. And what really bugs me are the content creators who do it, because they're making money doing it. They are literally making money to entertain their audience to while they ruin other people's time who paid for the game. So they're worse than like regular people who are just PvP. Like they're worse than that because they're making money on it. Like going around causing it on purpose, like fucking up other people's gameplay so that they can entertain their people and make money off it. I, I'm sorry, I, 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 okay, I might be throwing shade on that. But if you want to PVP, and let's say you're a content creator, then PVP with your crew. Uh, find, I'm sure you'll have no problem finding a group of players to PVP with, right? Open your lobby, make your content. I don't even understand why, like, if there was a PvP lobby, it would be perfect for content creators who PvP because they could be lit all the time. And boy, you have plenty of content to entertain, you know, your audience. But I mean, you're in a public lobby, just randomly shoot people and making fun of all the noobs who can't fight back. And like, that's just, I hate that. You're a griefer. You're not a PvP player. If a true PvP player, plays in PvP lobbies against other PvP players. 
PvP players. There are PvP modes in this game. Go be a PvP champion there. I don't know. <laughs> Tickets for that PvP on Fortnite. Exactly. Pay Fortnite. I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not saying you shouldn't PvP. I'm just saying don't PvP with people that, that you don't know because that makes you a griefer. You're a griefer. And, uh, nobody's engaging with you. You think, oh, okay, this person's having fun with me. No, we're not. <laughs> you pissed us off, fam. And then that's how you get reported. You just piss somebody off. I watched, I watched this content creator just terrorize this new player and when you're going around like just throwing bombs and shooting people like you have no idea what level people are uh and i watch this one content creator just terrorize this new player and i at one point i was like just leave bro alone like leave him alone god damn you know and then after he killed him he's like ah look at how he's dressed that's how most noobs dress like he just killed him for no reason bro is just trying to it's just Ugh, I hate it. Let's go sell this warehouse. <laughs> I don't, we got the Inferno. I don't know. I'm just I'm just fed up with PvP players saying that they're PvP players. You're a griefer, fam. If you shoot at somebody you don't know in the game, and they're clearly like trying to go ghost or get away from you or whatever, like you're a griefer. You're not PvPing. Uh, we need our own lobbies. People are gonna be like, ah, oh, you're so soft, sister. That's just how the game is. Okay. Then you play that game. I'll, I'll money grind. I wanna meet new people. I wanna do missions with folks that I don't know. I wanna hang out with people. You can't do that in invite-only lobbies, right? And I mean, just face it. Like, if you're in an invite-only lobby, like, you want... You're doing all this work, buy all these fancy cars and clothes and stuff. Like, you want to floss. You know, you want to drive around with other players. And I don't know. I just, I just, it would be so easy to do. Somebody was saying in the comment section, like, they already do it with, with like the CEO, right? If they just CEO'd everybody's uh, players in a lobby so where you couldn't, like, you know, whatever. But then I thought, and then somebody else in the comment section wrote about business battles and passive lobbies would be awesome, right? Nobody does business battles in public lobbies, really. I mean, you don't want to be seen racing across the map. <laughs> it's been a PvP player is like, oh, where's that person going? Okay, let me go get them. Let me go get them. They obviously want to PvP. Oh, they're moving fast. But they're moving fast. I should shoot them, right? You don't want to do that. But I'm thinking like in a in a passive lobby, people are you know because obviously people are going to be running their businesses and it's going to probably be more realistic you know more immersive because like in real life let's be honest like public lobbies are not immersive <laughs> probably be a little bit more immersive but i was thinking during the business battles could be like the only time that we could hurt each other wouldn't that be dope it'd be like the purge right once an hour business battle and that like i don't know 15 minutes or 10 minutes you know what I'm saying? You could really get some like really good like business rivalries. People get ready, getting at their orbital cannons, get ready to shoot other, you know what I mean? Like nothing goes. People hopping in their jets, trying to kill all the other business owners before they get to the goods. Oh man, that'd be fun as fuck. That's what I'm talking about. How you doing? That would be fun. Oh, here, Duckfoot. Let me register as a boss and then we could sell this whatever's in here i don't know it's probably not that much but this is this is the warehouse that i have love and and compassion for it's took me forever to put stuff in it <laughs> but anyway that's just my two cents and it's mostly the pvp people who get mad at me about it that's the way the game is supposed to be played that's what they always say that's how the game's supposed to be played people play the game the way they want okay, first of all that doesn't make sense what you just said but been playing this game for seven years i that's not a part of my gaming experience so i know a lot of people feel that way i invite you duckfoot i'm gonna stop ranting about that well i'm gonna read what you guys said i've been standing here talking did that the last stream too <laughs> i promise i won't make a video about it <laughs> want to deal with people's attitudes anymore don't want to deal with it I 
already did that. All right, here, let me see what you guys are saying before we do this mission. All right, here, let me scroll up. <laughs> I was just talking. You guys were, were typing on us. Okay, here, let me scroll up. Uh, Sinistan says I offer to help, but that's cool either way. Yeah, Sinistan. I, I, I actually, like I said, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill. Tyler definitely plays with others. It's just usually his elite OG crew. Tyler does not know everything, no. <laughs> I agree, Sinistan. But yes, elite crew. I yes. I I I'm just kind of sticking to playing with Duckfoot now because you know I know Duckfoot. Duckfoot's cool, but I know he doesn't get butt hurt over stupid shit. What up, boss man? Keith. Keith says, Are "You streaming alone, or do you want some help? I could jump on. Looks like Sinistan also would like to help." Yeah, see, Keith can't get it. Yeah, Keith's on the crew. Um, but yeah, just everybody, just let me... I know everybody wants to hop into the game, but I need, like, a break. <laughs> I, You know, I'm only comfortable playing with Duckfoot right now. If anybody knows about our community, I just need a break. I don't want to play with anybody uh, except for Duckfoot for right now. So I appreciate everybody wanting to hop onto the game, but I'm good, fam. I am so good. Do I have armor? Do you help now? Thank you guys for uh, wanting to help, but nah, nah, fam, I'm alright. I consider I consider Duckfoot one of my elite my elite OGs <laughs> for now. For now, for now. I got to get like uh, the professional to sit. My problem is when I have people in my stream, they don't want to listen and then they get upset when I, you know, when they go ahead and like do, do stuff, which like, per, like people don't do that in a professional stream. You know what I mean? Like when the professional streams with other crew, like they hang back and let him do it. Cause he's a professional. Like you don't ever see the professional stream. And then like the people he plays with just hop in and like do everything while he's sitting there picking his nose. Cause people are there to see him. And whoever he has playing with them, like, they get that. But when random people get in, like, they want to try hard and get the, the mission done. And, like, I don't know. Like, maybe I just need to build up the professional respect. Because when I tell people to slow down, they get butthurt. Like, they get mad. Like, don't talk to us that way, you know? It's weird. Like, let me set the pace. Like, they would never do that to the professional or even to, like, Tylerius, you know? Like, his people don't run ahead and do everything without him. Uh, but for some reason, people think that they can do that in my stream, and I'm just supposed to not say anything. I'm just supposed to stand there like this. Oh, look at him go. Oh, look, he finished it. All right, well, I'm just going to stand here while you do everything. Oh, look at him go. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's done it. All right, he's done it, everybody. <laughs> Like, maybe I need to get more respect on my name so people don't think they can just walk into my stream and take over and me not say anything to them. I don't know. I need to get professional status. The buyer's lined up. It's an international deal, so you're meeting them out at sea. Goods oh, are God. on the boat down at the docks. Get it out to the drop-off, and we're all good. Okay, all right, here, here we go, here we go. Oh, people don't put respect on my name. I don't know. Plus, well, so nobody would watch a professional. I, mean, I guess they probably would, but like they watch for him, you know? Like people want to see how he does things. And in my stream, people just want to try hard and then get mad when I tell them to hang back. You send the Mayweather assassins to get your revenge? <laughs> Keith. Well, most of the time, those PvP people are like, ah, -ha, look at this fool. He said Mayweather. What a punk ass. Those Mayweather guys are like no match for those PvP people, you know? That's what you're going to wait for me, right? <laughs> Hope Dougfoot waits. 
I don't wanna, I don't wanna make anybody upset, but I hope he waits. All right, here's a boat. Are there enemies down there? Oh, I know this mission. Oh, this is a boat mission where you have to like, yeah, this isn't that bad though, right? Oh shit, shit. We weren't ready for it. I knew it was too easy. I knew it was too easy. Done, done. No, it was too easy. Can't just walk up the cargo anymore, you know what I mean? It'd be way too simple. We got enemies, people. It's like we got them all, that's it. Teamwork makes the dream work, people. See, definitely gets it. Most people would have, like, just done the whole thing without me. Drove off in the boat. I'd have been standing on the pier like, oh, okay, well. You can go ahead then. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, here we go, people. You want that foot? Take this tugger out. Okay, what? It's a tugger. I don't know if that's a giggity. Okay, Duckfoot's gonna provide cover on the one, two. How do we how do we get this thing started up? Just driver? Driver. Alright, we got Duckfoot on the one, two. What does the one, two mean? You're 12 o'clock? That wouldn't be right. On the 06? <laughs> All right, uh, warning. The tracker has pinged a signal map wide. Your special cargo shipping is now visible to all players who can destroy it to earn cash, ammo, and RP. I think we are in the public lobby. Get shot in the face. I was just trying to PVP. Send a mugger just to test their skills. <laughs> Can you send muggers? You know, you can send muggers on people. Man, they give you all kinds of ways to fuck with people in this game. <laughs> you can send a mugger. <laughs> Thank you for the air cover, Duckfoot. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Right, King? How do you send a mugger? I've seen that on game. Is that what? Happens when you send uh, the Mayweather assassins, right, Sugar Daddy? How do you send a mugger? Paul Lamar. Is that an option? Do I have Lamar on my phone? I need to. I need to add some people back on my phone. I took a lot of people off. I'm gonna have to call Lamar and test that. I had no idea. That's it. I'm gonna call a mugger on you, see if it works. <laughs> After we do this mission, let's test it. I never even knew that. You learn something new about this game every day. I'm a racer at heart. Me too, Ken. Actually, that's how I started GTA. I used to do nothing but race. I would race and then I'd go in passive mode because, you know, I'd get killed immediately in the public lobby. <laughs> this is before invite only lobbies and this is before I learned how to MTU. You guys remember that? I played most of GTA with MTU and PS4. You know, you could like jerry rig a, a private lobby. I did that. Most of my GTA was played that way until invite only lobbies. But I used to race and then whenever I wanted to actually be in a public lobby, you know, I just go passive and I would do like the running on the beach stuff and, you know, flying and stuff like that. Uh, in the public lobbies just to be around other players, you know, and have them not kill me. <laughs> they do all my physical fitness stuff in the public lobby. But most of my DTA I played in an MTU. Hey, okay, that was surprisingly easy. Wait, does that make a 13 mil? What? No, I don't. The game is lying. Okay, Jeffrey, where you at? I'm gonna send a mugger on you. Send one on me too. Send one on me. 
Say well, not me. <laughs> Wait, do you have to be in a special place? Definitely, let's go into the city and get mugged. I gotta try this out. Um, let me get uh, you drive it around the suppressor, but uh. It's not, I'm not an oppressive man, but I want to get places quick while we're, while I'm streaming at least. What you talking about? VP, VP Fortnite. Oh, D Uglize is trying to sell. Man, let me get rid of your comment in here trying to sell modded accounts. Get out of here, fam. <laughs> nah, we're good, fam. Trump's trying, Trump's trying to stop trying to sell low prices, fam. Get 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 off my stream. Get off my stream. Buccaneer Bruce. Yeah, right on Buccaneer Bruce. I should have. Let me delete that. Cool in here really trying to sell modded accounts. Okay, really PvP players should go play a proper PvP game like COD. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a, it, it, I'm not even saying that. Like, I just think they need their own lobby. Just have your own lobby. I'm not throwing shade. Oh, this isn't mine. I'm not throwing shade. Where do they spawn mine? If it's across the water, I swear to God. Look at where they spawn my oppressor. Here's me. Okay, here's me. Here's my oppressor. Me. Water. Okay. So I think that's Duckfoot, but we're one and the same. Water. Okay, big bay here. Right? My oppressor. Rockstar's trolling me right now. This is why I love the buzzard. This is why I love it. Come on, Duckfit. That's why I love the buzzard. We PvP on Fortnite. I read that. Paul W. If you want help with the deliveries or heists, I'm down to help. Thank you for the offer, Paul. Farming Sin says, great stream. Thank you, Farming. You love hunting griefers? Tell me tell me something, Paul. Is it? I, would you be sad if they got rid of their griefers? Because I know there are griefer hunters, right? They got rid of griefers, would the griefer hunters be upset? That's a whole other category, right? Griefer hunters? <laughs> I'm a griefer hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Buccaneer Bruce. Right on. Nice to have you. Agent 209 says, my modded account got banned. I'm going to have to buy a new one. Why, though, Agent? Here, actually, let me get out. Talk to me, Agent. Why do you need a modded account? Like, real question. They don't do modded accounts, LOL. Hey, what's up, Alexander? It only works one at a time. Oh, what only works one at a time? Did I say something? Did something happen? Give me some times to get brain farts. I can't remember what just happened. Yeah, good, good to see you, Alexander. Hey, Agent, why, why buy a modded account? Like, in all honesty, why? Like, what's the reason? I mean, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade or trying to be like, you know, but like, I'm, I've never, I'm, I just say this is a, a person who's talking to a person who wants a modded account that I've never talked to a person who wants one before. Why? You prank people. Ah, see? Why not prank them as you though? That's kind of, I'm not here to judge, play the game you want, but again, you're involving other people who may not want to be pranked. 
like what do you mean prank pranking in what way like pranking in what way in a fun way or what do you mean is that why people get modded modded accounts I just feel like I'd be embarrassed to have like a level 8,000 in a public lobby because I everybody would know my account was fake. Sinistan says that's one good thing about Tylerius old G's crew. It's a money grinding crew efficient at that. He has more money than most uh, those that PVP unless they cheated frozen money, uh, etc. Et yeah, they know how to play with him. Like they respect that it's his show. They respect him because you know people are there for Tylerius, not like whoever is in his crew. You know what I mean? They know how to play with it. Hey, Spud Gunner, me too, Keith. I actually like starting out with nothing and working up to better things. It's part of the fun for me. What Keith say? Just standing here talking. I'm all about the grind. No mod gang, right? Me too, Keith. I think there's a lot of people uh, that just want to play the game and, you know. Keith says, I'm used to griefers now. I even griefed some random that tried to grief me. It was actually satisfying to make him leave, so I get it, right? But I'm sure you, like, ruined his day. <laughs> oh, whatever, you know, people say it toughens up players, it toughens them up, but I mean... I don't need you to decide to toughen me up. I'll do that on my own. Sugar Daddy says, I must admit, I plan to retire as a grifter hunter someday. Or a griefer hunter. <laughs> That's a respectable way to retire. Here. Yeah, here. Uh, Jeff, you got something to sell? Yeah, I got a bunker. He says griefers are just bullies. Once they see they can beat you up, they leave you alone. Some of them do. Some of them do. Some of them just will just beat you until you, you know, till you just give up. Duckfoot, you coming? I'm leaving. You want a call? Duckfoot must be on a call. <laughs> All right, Duff, I hate to leave you, fam. Looks like you're on a call or something. All right, he's got his oppressor. Oh, you know what, Duckfoot? We still have the... We, we started a... What do you call it? Salvage yard thing. I don't know if I want to do that, though. We're trying to make... We're trying to make... We're trying to make money. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do actual warehouse mission. I haven't done one of those in a minute. Then maybe we'll do another Madrazo. Do a little bit of a doing some money grinds. Just make some kind of money. Who are these? What, what am I locked on to down here? It's cops. Some cops. Some caps. I'm gonna do a source mission. I haven't done one of these in a minute. Damn, what's the last time? Anybody done a source mission lately? It's kind of not worth it now that you, you know, pay seven G's to your warehouse person. You, you could be, you could be doing other things. You know what I mean? Making more money doing something else. But sometimes it's fun just for the fun of it. I just bought this place, fam. This is a new one. I bought it over here because it's near my salvage yard in auto shop. I figure it'd be easy to like go fill it up in, be in between missions since it's so close. Just got this place. All right, we're still in this together. Definitely, let's do a source mission. And before I hit, before I hit go, when they get caught up with you guys. Some griefers are nice, but some griefers are not, says Agent 209. Yeah, some of them aren't nice. Hey, what's up, Shamel? Happy Thursday. Shamel, you filling up your warehouse? <laughs> Keith says the griefer shot me a couple of times is what I meant to say. Ah, I shot you a couple of times. Good to see you, Shamel. Agent says, yeah, people buy modded accounts to prank people, but 
by a fun way. I saw this one video. I think it's the guy's name is Cheeto Head. You ever watch him? He's hilarious. He's an RP server and you know, you get like certain animations and stuff in RP lobbies. And he was just like walking around an RP lobby where players were just kind of standing around talking, you know, because that's what you can do in an RP lobby, stand around and talk to other players. <laughs> anyway, so he would go up to like a group of players and there was this animation where he would like, like jump on them, but like in a like a, like a, like a, a suggestive way, you know, like he would jump on them like a baby, you know, like how you would hold a baby around your waist, <laughs> like with their legs straight. <laughs> He'd do this animation, like, there'd be like this, you know, group of players just standing around like, you know, yeah, I got this at the such and such. Yeah, homies, you know, they're like walking around, like, stand up, chilling. He'll walk up to him and he'd be like, hey, homies, like, hey, you know, whatever. And then, like, he, all of a sudden, he'd jump on one of them. <laughs> he let him hey, get the fuck off me, bro. Get off me, bro. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, it was hilarious. Some people, like, were really good sports. Some people got really mad, but, like, you know, still laughed it off. But it was hilarious to see. Because, you know, he jumped on, like, the thuggiest, the thug thug, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> uh, stuff like that is funny, you know? When you do stuff like that to, like, do something unexpected and make somebody laugh in their game, but start killing them and stuff. I, that stuff that's stupid. Oh, look here, 130, five crates. Why not? Why not? And I, I can use the money. Let's do it, Duck Bet. The sale's on, but it's kind of complicated. You'll be dropping the goods at a few points around the city. Collect the cargo at LSIA and make this thing happen. All right, we're back at the airport. Let the airport work with these cargo missions, right? See you over there, Duckfoot. I should take my oppressor, but I think it pissed me off. What did it do to piss me off? Oh yeah, it spawned across the lake. And the thing pissed me off. I almost thought about doing a Kayo last night. I know what came over me. <laughs> I wanna test that. Death Knife did the, a video on calling in your deluxo. I wanna test that out. I'm so curious to test that out. Ah, uh, we got some fools to fight down here. I think I remember this one. Some people down here, Duckfoot. Plane's over here. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. All right, we got 28 minutes. This is not too bad. I don't mind the flying missions. I actually really love flying in this game. I, I really do. I should do more cargo missions. I told you guys, if, if, if I was in like a RP server or like a passive server, I would fly people. I'd be a pilot in the game. I'd park my plane out here and just fly people from the top of the map to the bottom. <laughs> fly low, okay. Lalo. Oh, I know this one. Okay, let's just get up in the air quick. This is, this is the one where we have to not get detected by the po the police. Keep the plane low. I got one of those. What is it? The Luxor or whatever. That really big plane that you can get and like actually fit players on it. What's the name of that plane? Something bus. Oh. Like a commercial plane. I'd love to do that. That would be fun. Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! Keep it low, sister. Keep it low. Look at this. This is gonna be right in the middle of these buildings. Of course, it's dark out. Okay, got this. Got my LASIK. Man, this looks like it's like right in between the built the buildings. Where's this gonna be? Okay, now we got it. Oh, oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh god, no! 
No! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! I got back out, right? I got back out. I'm sorry, Dick, but. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't see that crane there. The smoke was in my eyes. God damn it. It wasn't that much uh, cargo, but damn. Buccaneer Bruce. Finistan says, I played RP now, both 5M and uh, Grand RP. And in my opinion, it's boring. Grand RP seems more GTA Online like. Some of the some of the RP servers are actually really, really boring just because, well, you know, the, the server has to be good. That's the first thing, but you got to think about people's time zones too like there might be a server that's like super popular in australia but you know like in the united states when it's you know whatever time that you play everybody might you know that if that server might be empty because you know it's popular in australia but you know in the states it's not really going to be lit because you know maybe everybody's at work or they're sleeping or something so it's always good to pick a it's always good to pick a, you know, it's always good to pick a, a server that's like close to your, your time zone so that, you know, you make sure it's like busy when you're on. Hey, what's up, Randy? What up, Sista? How are you? I'm good now that you're here. <laughs> Uh, would it just start to be over? I didn't know. I thought you had to back out if you think you're about to hey. lose your cargo. I would want to start over though. I'd rather just what what do we lose? Like like 10% of the cargo? It was on a timer, so. Oh, 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 god damn it. I'm so terrible at parachuting. Oh my god. All the light poles in the whole game. I found that one. I found that one. Uh Okay, let's go back and try to solve that again. Oh, look at this. We got some kind of award. Nick you of know, Time. I don't mind being labeled a crack. I don't even know what that means. Got 400 RP for it, though. <laughs> 5M is good if you get a good server, says Buccaneer Bruce. Yeah, you gotta get a good server. It, you gotta get a good server and it's gotta be in your time zone like people got to be on like when you're on all right where's that warehouse Let's go do it do it wait we were sourcing right weren't we we were sourcing a mission or we're dropping off i can't remember what we're doing don't do drugs kids don't do drugs I think we were selling. I'll invite you again, Duckfoot. Don't do drugs, kids. It's a weird hue of green out here. Register as a boss. Hi, 5M is more resource heavy. Grand RP is lighter. My 10 year old PC does grand RP, no problem. I think RP makes more sense for a Red Dead since they have been so lack on content. Is there RP for Red Dead? I would think that would be really fun too. I've never heard, there might be, is there 5M for Red Dead? I don't think so. You would think, you would think, right? I would think that would be lit. 
I heard something about being able to to create like a Red Dead private lobby, not like on console, but like on your PC. But I don't know. Is there? If I started my own server, says Agent Two Hundred Nine, I would just open mod application, and I um and IA applications and a development team application, then start my server. <laughs> You're going serious with it. You're going to have the whole team ready, huh, Agent? <laughs> it does take, like, running a server does take, you know, it does take time. You got to learn how to, you know, update it, keep it running correctly, deal with people's issues. You know, make, make sure the mods are good on it and all that. Here, we, we can still sell some of this. Let's try this again. Ah, we got eight minute cooldown. That's why you shouldn't back out. Cheese and gravy. I just say cheese and gravy. Defoot, do you have one of those missions on your phone? One of those madrazos? Let's do a madrazo while we wait for this cooldown. What was the name of the one you said it was called? Contestant? What was the name of the job? Do another mission. Right, another job? No. What was the name that? Hot, hot napping? Chop, chop, checkout time? I feel like it started with a C. Cri crime scenester? Cle cleaning house. What was, what was the name of it? You're level 800, Buccaneer Bruce? But some of that is from hitting 15,000 RP on the wheel for like a month straight. See, level 800 is... That's legit. Like, that seems legit. You know what I mean? Buccaneer Bruce. Level 8,000? Yeah. What, what was the name of it? It's been clicking through stuff. Lord, gas it, grab your hack and... That we gotta look for. I feel like it started with a C. On uh, maneuvers? These are repos. Those are the short trips. Did you send me an invite? I feel like I heard a beep beep. Invite to cleaning the cat house. Yeah. Thank you, Dogfoot. We saw I was lost. See, this is why I like to play with Dogfoot. He knows what's up. He saw I was lost. Oh, wait. Why can't we do it, Dogfoot? Maybe we need to be outside. Here, let's go outside. Sometimes that stops you from starting ambitions is being inside. Okay, here, let me try it again. Send me another invite, Dogfoot. Maybe I can't get it because we were inside. I only play on PS5 now, Buccaneer Bruce. My PC is too old to run the game. I have to get a new one. Like 5M. Well, I honestly downloaded 5M and bought GTA 5 PC from Steam, but never actually set everything up. My computer runs everything else slow, so I just assumed it wouldn't work. It'll probably, it probably work because, I mean, technically you're not, you're not, te technically you're not hosting the files technically on your computer, you know what I mean? Only when you play the game. And a lot of people, like, just make sure you're not, like, make sure you're not running anything else to, you know, like, if you're playing a game, don't have like YouTube open in another window playing, you know, and check your task manager too. Cause a lot of times there's a whole bunch of shit open in your computer that you're not even using. That's like taking up your processing power, you know, uh, um, Microsoft is notorious for that, especially after an update. They are so notorious for that, like opening their browser in the background. You know, if you look at your task manager, there's like six 
uh, Microsoft Edge browser windows open that just open automatically. Like check all of that stuff. Sometimes I'll use Photoshop, you know, or when I use Photoshop to make my thumbnails, even when I close it out or whatever. Rescue Anna. Where's Anna? We got to go. We got to rescue Anna. Who, who is Anna? Look out. We got to rescue Anna. Uh, but they'll have all kinds of shit open uh, in the background of your computer. They're just like running, you know? So it's like, make sure you check all that too, because sometimes that'll, that'll slow your computer down as well. Who's Anna? That's it, wait for me, please. Don't start anything until I get there. I don't even know who Anna is. I've never seen this mission. So please, 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 at least wait outside for me or whatever is happening. Please don't start without me. I'm sure you know that. He knows that. Who the hell is Anna? Oh, she's in a hotel, right? Okay, this is four times RP. What's a regular RP for it? I think they're at the motel. Spell Gunner says, yes, I think there is, sister. Okay, we got, we got. She's gonna be inside the hotel, right? Like, I'm not gonna kill her by accident. What are these, hooligans? Let Anna go, fam. Let Anna go! Let me back up, let me back up. Let her go. I hope I don't kill Anna, but... Anna, are you in there? <laughs> Anna, are you in there? Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Is Annie in the chopper? Oh, wait. Uh, who is it? Uh, Duffoot, can you land? I don't even know who Annie is. <laughs> who is Annie? We need a chopper to get it. Let me get in with you, Duckfoot. All right, don't die, sister. Get off, get off, get off. Is she in here? Get out, Andy. Oh, Andy got out. What's Andy wearing? Andy, what are you wearing? Is she a hoe? Oh, what is going? Andy, are you a? Andy's a hoe. Okay, let's get this hoe out of here. Let's get this hoe out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Annie. I didn't mean to call you a hoe. Did I? I think I think you probably said this so hard, right, Duffet? Diggity. I didn't mean to call you a hoe, Annie. I, I just met you, okay? I was shocked to see what you were wearing is all. Martin sent Martin sent us to come save you. I don't know what your business is uh, with Martin specifically. Not our business, okay? But sure, Martin into that freaky stuff, you know. I'm a I'm a CEO, business owner, but sometimes I have to rescue people's hoes. Sometimes I have to rescue hoes. I don't know. I don't know. I've never done this mission. I don't think. I don't think I've ever done this one. It always surprises me. All of these little missions that just have like different stuff in it that I've never seen or NPCs I've never met like Annie here, who's some kind of friend to Mr. Madrazo. I don't know. I don't know if there's a Mrs. Madrazo. I think there is, right? I don't know. None of our business. We're just here to deliver the hoe is all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Annie. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you a hoe. I didn't mean to call you a hoe. Okay, here, let's just drop her off. 
They mean to call Andy a hoe. But who the hell, Martin? Come on, mate. We don't do hoe deliveries, okay? I'm more important than doing hoe deliveries. Annie. What the hell? Annie, we're here, babe. Go see Martin. <laughs> Come on, Annie. Annie, are you okay? Say, Annie, are you okay? That's nah, more like Billie Jean. She's just a girl that claims that Mark Madrazo is the one. <laughs> Ho has been delivered safely. Ho has been delivered safely. He says, you beat me to the Anna, are you okay? <laughs> He's more like Billy Jean, I don't know. Doing some of Martin's dirty business with that one. Okay, is there another one? Water Vineyard? Oh, we did that one. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, let's do them soon. I'm down for some RP. Let's get some RP. Fancy Ubering, a ho right? Straight up Uber ho, a ho Uber. What would we be, Uber ho? I don't know. Got Dougfoot and I picking up hoes. We're millionaires for Pete's sake. I'm sure Dougfoot is a billionaire. We got time for picking up hoes. We got our own hoes to deal with. <laughs> Let me stop calling other women hoes. When he leaves my woman card. Leaves my woman card. Let's do this, Dougfoot. Look at me, I got nine million. I promise them I haven't bought no new clothes or nothing at all. She's been touched by a smooth criminal, says uh, Buccaneer Bruce. Buccaneer Bruce, you get it. She's been struck by, she's been hit by uh, some kind of smooth criminal. <laughs> Go to Marlowe Valley Vineyard. Oh, we did this one. Yeah, we need a... This guy's going to be in a car, right? See, I learned. I learned. I learned, uh, but... Take out the judge, people. Let's make this quick and easy. Oh, he's still here. Why do they always have to call me a bitch? You know what I mean? Just call me something else. Why, why bitch? Let me get a lock on this fool. He really thinks he's going somewhere. Okay, so he drives away. This mission's pretty easy. Okay, maybe we'll get a picture of him this time without like the fire in his face. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, we killed an innocent worker. Ah. Oh. Sorry. You're not gonna be needing that money though. <laughs> okay, rest in peace, my bad. I hate when other people get caught in the crossfire. All right, Sinistan, we're going to try to get a better. All right, he's less burnt on this side, I think. There's a little less char on his face from this angle here. Let me get in close. You can kind of see a hairline, kind of. We got him. Rest in peace, Rosa. I hope she wasn't a Mendoza. <laughs> we are wreaking havoc on the Mendoza family. We really, really are. We owe the Mendozas a lot of apologies. We got 33 likes. You lying to me, Spud Gunner. Stop, stop tricking me. Stop tricking me. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't liked the, the stream, like the stream. I always forget to ask. You guys always forget. I can't see how many likes we have. Nor can I see how many people are watching. So I kind of have to go. I just kind of go on like, you know, how much fun we're having. Okay, at least we didn't have us picking up hoes this time. 
The deaf has got better things to do than like pick up hoes. Did I stop saying hoes? Is there a YouTube limit on how many times you can say hoes in a single stream? A lot of rules lately, you know what I mean? I don't want to break any. He says, oh, oh, okay, so mine just stays at the amount of after I hit my like button. It doesn't update for some reason. Does it, is there more than 33? Guys, stop messing with me. Stop messing with me. Stop messing with me. Did we do it? doing business with you all right still make us pick up any more hoes mr madrazo all right what's that what's the xp oh i'm about to rank up i'm about to rank up i'm about to rank up no no nah, i thought it was let's do another one you guys enjoying these you guys want us to pick up some more hoes or nah maybe we'll get another hope Stop saying ho, sister. Bowling says, uh, oh, you guys talk to each other. Hey, Faith, how you doing, fam? Which one, which one? Is there another one? I don't think any more of these are, are uh, madrazas. Yeah, I'm just moving buttons. Right? Let's back, let's back out. Let's do another one, Duckfoot. Oh, no, we had a warehouse sale, right? Can we for the cooldown? I don't know. We'll figure something out. My screen only shows 18 likes. That's why I was asking. Well, whatever, whatever the like count is. I mean, why not add to it and hit the like button? Okay, that was so corny. Look at how stupid that was. That was a really cheesy way to ask for a like. Okay, it's dumb. Okay. Okay, let me try it again. If you haven't already, okay, that's even dumber. Why am I using that voice? Guys, make sure to hit the like button. It helps the stream, helps the channel. Holy Kasha. Has the highest value of damage to vehicles and other players. <laughs> Should I do it? Ah, I'm tempted. Ah, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Uh, people got on their own. Uh, oh, people getting a presser. Oh, where's my presser? I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Somebody's about to kill me, though. Look. Stephanie's going back to a uh, to our lobby. Is it over? Oh, it ended. Ah. Oh! Damn. I would have done I would have done it. I would have done it. I would have done it. I like doing those lobby events. They're fun. Um find new session. Close crew session. Vibing with faith. Says we lit! It's almost a weekend. One more day. I think it's probably Friday, like in the UK now, right? In the UK, people, it's like Friday there already. So I believe it's like early morning Friday. So I bet you guys are hype. I don't feel like I have less money. Eight million. Okay, we get, okay. Look, let me let me bank it, people. I like to see the numbers. I count them out. Like, see the milk come right. Let me turn this down. And services you you do this too i only do it because i can't do math <laughs> i don't do math so it helps me see the final number what what let me see i got at least 10 million most people almost am i that that doll's doing something weird Look at that. Oh, it's open. Just to show you how much I look at this table. Oh, I see. It's open. And then it's got the pills inside. I thought it was clipping. I'm all, what's wrong with that statue? Oh, I see. The thing and the bags and the... Let me stop pointing at that. Or my channel gets banned. You, you could make easily make another 100,000 right there if you wanted to uh, do the... 
Mixed goods delivery? That's not a bad di bad dial. Bad dial. No, that's not a bad deal either. <laughs> Fiber with faces, Drake voice. <laughs> that was so cheesy. The criminal damage. Uh, Buccaneer Bruce says the criminal damage get your tank and blow up front fire yeah, trucks. This is your captain speaking. Love doing those. I always have I always have a hard time though blowing up first responders. All right, here, Defit. Let me add you to the CEO. I'll meet you over at the warehouse. Uh, I'm sure the the cooldown is uh, is over. We'll go over there. I'm with face has two thumbs up. Do you guys like Drake? A lot of people like Drake. What does it say? Might get canceled again with this. I'm not a fan of Drake. I don't know. There's something about him that's just. I don't know. I don't know. This music is okay, but there's just something about him that's just. Maybe. Remember that? Remember he was in the video that one time and he danced. Everybody made fun of his dancing. It's something that has to do with that. I don't know. Something just doesn't seem. I don't know. He's got good songs, you know. I I, I like his music and stuff. But oh wait, did we we did it already? We delivered the hoe. Oh, we already delivered the hoe. Duckfoot, do you have anything? We could do another Madrazo, right? Did you invite me? We already delivered his hoe for him. Or, uh, no, that wasn't the hoe. That was a Madrazo. Wait, am I confused? I am confused. Did we do this already? Let me check really quick. I could be confused, fam. I feel like there was a cooldown. Then we rescued a hoe. Uh, the hoe thing got me all mixed up. Let me see. I think we did it. Oh no, we didn't do it. Okay, let's try it again. Ah, 72. Ah. Whatever. Something. Something fun to do. You're on the Kendrick Lamar side of the battle. You ready to make this sale? <laughs> I'm with you on that. I don't know. There's something about Drake that seems a little. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say corny. That's harsh. There's a hint of it though. There's like a, a little, a little, there's a little hint of Drake in, in Drake that seems corny to me. I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm trying to. Yeah, that's a word I'm looking for. Look at this weather. Stream has not, stream gods have not been the nice to me. It's just like, uh, there's like a, a hint of it. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Beyonce either. I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my black girl card, but I'm not a fan of Beyonce either. I know a lot of people love Beyonce. I just, not a fan, not a fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love her, like, I'm, a, I, you know, I, I love music. I'm a musician. She's got a, an awesome voice, but I, I'm just not a Beyonce person. I was watching her you know she just came out with this country music album i guess and everybody's kind of all up in arms about her you know doing this country music thing i guess it's because like country music is like supposed to be all super wholesome and everything and you know beyonce is beyonce you know video's got lots of boobage and ass ass shot you know cleavage things of that sort stuff good good country country music loving people don't typically get into 
So she's been getting she's been getting a lot of she's been getting a lot of heat for her country music album. You know, some people love it, some people hate it. I let me just say, if it wasn't Beyonce, I don't know that the song itself would be that good of a song. I don't know. I think people made a lot of hype out of it. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not a huge fan of country music, but I, 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 I don't know that I like that the song either. Like it just seemed random. There was no, there's no flow to it or anything. It's just like here's a country song with some lyrics. I don't know. I don't know. I heard that she. I was listening to like public public news radio. This is public news radio. <laughs> It's because I was in my car and uh, I just moved to like a new state, you know, so I was I was surfing the, the radio stations and I stopped on public news radio. Beyonce is the first African-American woman to hit number one on the country western charts. Beyonce, known for her hip hop music for many decades, including being a member, you know, I was watching that or listening to that in the car. It's like, oh, Beyonce made a country song, but they didn't play, you know, they didn't play. Oh, we gotta land this puppy. All right, I gotta do it again. This time in the rain, fam. This time in the rain. I was like, okay, well, let me, let me, let me look it up. So I looked it up on YouTube, and I, I guess she hit number one, and I, uh, apparently, like people aren't, uh, you know, radio stations aren't, aren't playing, playing the song because you know, boobs. <laughs> Let's be real, boobs, boobs boobs and all the you know yeah you know suggestiveness of all of her videos inquire inquire in, in, oh, no, no, in, no. Uh, oh oh no! <laughs> God damn it! That's what I get for talking shit about Beyonce. Oh, I shouldn't have been talking shit about Beyonce. Beyonce, God's got me. Beyonce is everywhere. Don't be talking shit about Beyonce because she'll get you, fam. Even in the GTA game. Beyonce. Beyonce is for real, fam. Don't be talking shit about Beyonce, fam. Damn it. But, but, you see that? It was right there. The end was right there. It was right there, Duckfoot. I ruined it. All of it. I hear she comes That's calling me. Boss. Yeah, well. We've got to take stock. Come back stronger. I don't know. Maybe reevaluate your protection detail. Right, I don't need your the lip. The only way is up. I pay you far too much for that terrible advice. Duckfoot, it was right there. God damn it. I hate when that happens. Me too. At least it wasn't a uh, like a full warehouse. That was only 75 G's. Well, guess it doesn't start you over. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I didn't think it did. I know, like, if your cargo gets destroyed, like, it's over, fam. It's over. God dang it. That's Beyonce karma right there. That's Beyonce karma. Look out, Duckfoot. I'm mad at it. I don't want to hurt you. I'm mad at it. I'm just mad at it. Okay, look, see? Anger gets you nothing, but... Look at that! Anger gets you nothing but kilt. Gets your friends hurt. Alright, whatever. Sorry, Duckfoot. Duckfoot, let's do one more Madraza. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. You guys want to do one more? Oh! Okay, now we're in trouble. That's a nice new suit. Let's do another one, Duffit. What was the one that you said to do, Sinistan? 
Don't ever use planes on a full, medium, or large WHS. Rejoin until you get tug or brigade. Close it out and rejoin, right? To get a better mission. I don't mind the flying. I'm, I'm, I'm okay at flying. I just zigged when I should have zagged there is what ha happened. I zigged when I should have zagged. Oh man, and they made me pay $200 to lose the cops first. Come on, Rockstar. Cheap. They just get money out of you no matter what. I couldn't just load into the game. I had to pay off Lester first for the cops. Oh, we were supposed to call the mugger on each other. Okay, don't let us forget. Don't let us forget. We got to call the mugger on each other. Go to Donkey Punch. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> Go to Donkey Punch Family Farm. Okay. Donkey Punch Family Farm. Never heard of it. What? What the Donkey Punch something? It used to be something, right? Donkey Punch. It was some kind of. Uh, I remember seeing like Donkey Punch everywhere, like on light, like light poles and stuff outside. What? What? Isn't Donkey Punch a thing? Guess what I'm talking about? Maybe it was just a West Coast thing. Donkey Punch Family Farm. I feel like I'm gonna get like harassed in some kind of appropriate way at, at Donkey Punch Farm, right? Are, are you getting like, um, I don't know, inappropriate behavior type of feel? It's gonna be happening at Donkey Punch? Maybe I'm just just overthinking it. It's very bad. <laughs> What's very bad, Duckfoot? Oh, <laughs> don't scare me. What's very bad? Oh, Duckfoot is very bad. That meme. The planes can glitch is the thing on the ones where you drop the cargo. You either can't drop it or it doesn't register. Don't think they've fixed that yet. All right, I'm at Donkey Punch Farm. What am I locked on to? I don't like to shoot first until I know what I'm shooting at. Rescue and stupido. <laughs> it's stupido. It's stupido. Donde esta stupido? Estupido, donde esta? Oh, there's cops. There's cops. That's what went to go get the chopper. We got to get a stupido. All right. Estupido, we got it. We got a chopper on the way. Estupido. <laughs> His name's Estupido. That's freaking hilarious. Estupido. jacket in the summertime no wonder they found you you trying to die today stupido they found you because you're wearing a leather jacket in the summertime okay you can't be more obvious that you're in the mob fam Can we see El Subido from her? 
Nah. You're wearing leather in the summertime. You got a big little heavy leather jacket on. Look at it's a beautiful day out here, Stubido. Aren't you hot? Thanks for flying us, uh, Duckfoot. Donkey Punch? They wild for that one. <laughs> There used to be like a, I think it was a drink or a, I can't remember what it was. Some kind of donkey punch, something or other. You made like 20 million on the bunker the past week. Now I'm going to 25, 30 million on cargo. Me too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do some cargo work. I still have um full bunker. All right, it's Stubido. Come on, fam. I know you're hot. <laughs> Look at homie's face. Look at his face. Fam, what in the world? Are you Madrazo's uncle or something? Like, what What do you do in Madrazo's organization? Like, for real. Hilarious. Here's your, here's your, uh, here's your homie. Ooh, 21,000 is not bad. Have I ranked up yet, fam? It's not bad, R RP either. Cinestan says the planes. Oh, I read that, I read that. I mean, that was, that was kind of fun. Fam, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, or whatever. Rooftop rumble? All right, one more, one more, one more, one more, Duffit. One more. Let's do rooftop rumble. One more, one more. One more, then we'll end the stream. We'll be about, we'll probably be about, about three hours there. You wanna do one more, Duffit? Okay, sweet. We'll do one more. Sell some cars, you and Duckfoot should race them. Says Vibin. I haven't done a race in a minute. You know what? I haven't done a I did like one drag race one time. And I heard that like they're really fun. We should do like a drag race stream. Who's, who said earlier they started out playing GTA racing? Like me. I used to race all the time. That was the only thing I used to do in GTA, really. My little my little playlist. Do some of the like triathlons, biathlons, stuff like that. Do those contact missions and stuff. And race. Go to the parking lot. Okay. Stuff that they want us to go to the parking lot. It looks like some shady stuff going on at the parking lot though. Take out the professionals. Not very professional if they're easily taken out. Now are they? There's a lot of fools in there. Oh, oh God. Die. I die. Whatever. I had to do this old fashioned way, people. I got duck foot in the sky. I'm gonna head inside so I don't get hit by one of these. Get hit by a runaway. You better get in this. All right, I'm going in, duck foot. Hold fire for just a second. All right, I'm about to die, I'm about to die! No! Stay down. Give me no ah! Gotta make sure not to hit uh, that foot in the crossfire. We got this guy hemmed up. Holy shot, son! Take out the professionals. Okay, there's more professionals coming. That foot, let's be ready. 
Okay, let me get up. Okay, I guess we got it. We got to move. We got to. Is this the? Look, look at all of them in the car together. You guys just come from Arby's? Just came from Arby's. All right, we got to steal the documents. Let me get on my oppressor. I feel like the documents aren't nearby. Let me look at the map. Are they nearby? Down the street. They all pulled up like they just came from, you know, dinner. Oh, okay. All right, we got it. My press almost rolled me over. <laughs> Get in there. Oh, they're on the move. They're on the move. Get him. Get him. Get him. You're done, son. Wait, what? Why do we fail it? Was I not supposed to do that? Oh, why do we fail? Why do we fail? Let's restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. Let's restart. Was I not supposed to kill him like that? <laughs> it looked funny how we got the hell out of there. <laughs> we had the meats, right? Like they just came from Arby's or something. What? What did I do wrong? Was I not supposed to kill that guy? I was too bomb heavy, right? Too trigger finger happy? I'm going in, that foot. What'd I do wrong? Don't kill the, the green dot. Okay, that's what I did. <laughs> oh, look at the hose. Run! Run, hose, run! Get out of here, hose, while you can! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, that foot! Sorry, that foot, my bad, fam. I zigged what I should have zagged. Oh, shit, that foot's not in there. You piece of shit. You are dead. That foot, you're not in there, right? I want to blow you up, homie. That foot's about to get him, get him. I just want to get caught or crossfire. Oh, there's a foot. Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, so. Don't, don't. Don't touch the blue, the, the green dot. All right, that one's down. Got it, there's a green dot. Let me take them out. Okay, steal the documents. All right, so we gotta stop this fool. It's probably gonna be difficult to do on an oppressor. All right, we gotta stop this fool somehow, some way. get in a car or something like we need to be able to shoot at him missiles damn it all right is he gonna stop eventually i need to get on something see if i get off of something he's going so fast we'll lose him okay how do we stop this guy how do we stop him how do we stop him just follow him 
steal a car if I get out so I'll lose him because he look at he is flying even if I stop for a second maybe he'll get stuck there we go maybe he'll get stopped at a light or something soon as okay stop at the light stop at the light stop at the light stop at the light I don't want to like he's gonna stop right I hate these missions where you can't, sh where you can't, uh, you know, like shoot the driver, especially on the presser. I can get off and steal a car, but then you get. All right, let me get a fast one. Maybe I can fuck this car up enough so he'd have to slow down a little bit. Here, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. He keeps coming this way. Oh god damn it. Get get What the What? Get What? Get out of Why is my oppressor flying like this? Look at it! Oh, it's destroyed! Why is it doing that? Is it destroyed? Thing. Oh, Duckfoot's got him. Duckfoot's got him. Oh, they are gonna stop. See, so technically, we didn't really have to. Would you wait for me? Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Guess Duckfoot has the documents. We'll watch the back of his head as we go to Martin Madrazo's. <laughs> I don't know who we got the documents from, but okay. We didn't get to see the guy, but he's got them. He says blow up a bunch of cars in front of the... Oh, it looks like he eventually stops. I think with most of the... It seems like with most of these uh, missions, when you... If you have to chase them, especially... Like, they eventually stop. Unless there's like a... Unless there's like a... a Defa, hang back, fam. Come on, ma'am. I want to at least see the cutscene. Can I at least see the cutscene? <laughs> okay, um... Swifty, do, uh, Swifty done to say the least. Let, at least let me see the cutscene, fam. Done, done. So he just basically comes well, out of house and be like, brilliant. "Thanks, fam." I love you in an appropriate way. I mean, I did it. You would be dead, of course. All right. Who was it? Just a dead guy that we took that far? See, I, fam. Uh, you guys gotta hang back for me. You guys gotta hang back. Yeah, wait for me, fam. We just took it off the guy's body, right? I don't know. I don't know what we did. Swiftly done, to say the least. Read that. Key says blow up a bunch of cars, did that. Laugh my mouth off. She didn't see your message, Duckfoot. What was the message? About not to do the, uh, about not to do the, um, to kill the green dot? Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Most of the time, they eventually stop, though. Unless there's a timer, like, you gotta figure it out. But, like, I hate, like, if I'm in the Deluxo or if I'm on the Oppressor, and um you know like you can't you can't use a, a a pistol or a weapon or anything on those i could have got stolen a car but then you know 
they would have got away faster, but it looks like he stopped. But the, most of the time they stop. Come on, fam. Treat me like I'm the professional. <laughs> I love you, Dougfoot, but jeez, people, just wait for me. Just wait for me, that's all I ask. Need to get some respect on my name. So, no I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know. What, I don't know. Just need to get some respect on my name. Maybe, maybe I need to stop wearing heels because I don't run fast enough. <laughs> Oh, I'm in the public, huh? <laughs> oh, we got level 8,000. Let me get out of here. Somebody has to buy fake accounts to play in this lobby. All right, here we go. Boy, kasha. Find new session. Close crew session. We all make mistakes. <laughs> true that, true that. Agreed, agreed, agreed. We all make mistakes. I just need to, I guess I just need to be, a, be like a bigger YouTuber where like people don't, well, like, you know, they let, like, they're here to like watch me play the game. I guess I gotta get, I guess I gotta get like, I don't know. I gotta get just like bigger so people don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how to tell people to just wait so we can all play. I, I don't know what to do. I just throw my hands up. I don't got time for your mumbling. I just maybe I just maybe I just need to get I don't know faster at the game so I'm ahead of people or I don't know what to do. I don't know how I don't know how to tell people. See more respect on my name. He says, yes, yeah, sister, you saw the message that Defoot sent after you blew up the green dot car the first time. Well, yeah. I'm learning. We all learn. We all learn. I saw it, though. I saw I saw it the second time. Oh, oh, I almost got... <laughs> I almost closed by myself again. <laughs> all right. What are we at? Three hours? R.I.P. O.J. Simpson. Yeah, I heard he died today. And you know what the funny thing is, too? Like, I haven't heard a lot about it. It was almost like... I feel like people are kind of reporting on it because they have to, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, just, I mean, you know, just everybody should know that he died today. Yeah, you know what I mean? I feel like people are just reporting it because they have to. There's like people are so like have different feelings about OJ Simpson for sure. <laughs> Many crew, okay, yeah. People have, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's a shame. It would, it would, it would, it's a shame. It would be a shame to like be remembered that way. You know what I mean? Like be work so hard in your career to like be an expert like master your craft whatever that is football singing whatever like be that awesome be that good and then i don't you know i don't like to pass judgment on anybody they say he was innocent some people say he's guilty i don't know i'm gonna appear that bit i don't know if he's guilty or not but the but what I'm saying is imagine like making a name for yourself in your lifetime and then being remembered that way, you know? It just seems seems sad for him. I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to you know, I don't like to judge people. Uh you know, whether you think you did or not. I still think it's like a sad way to be remembered, you know? To where when people are reporting that you died they're like well i mean oj died today so just thought we'd let everybody know you know that's how that's like the vibe when people are talking about it i think that's so sad like you know five my face says dang r.i.p my face says i.e how much does she have to make until the office is filled <laughs> You know, I, does anybody know that? I don't even have that much money. I don't even have, I barely even have 10 million. So 
I've seen some people's offices where the, the floor is completely covered. I don't know. I'm sure Duckfoot's office is probably up to your kneecaps. You tell a, a man who wears a suit like that, he's got an office full of money. <laughs> but I don't know. It, does anybody have tons of cash? I'm sure some of you, you can't even see the floor. Some of you probably have 100 million. You probably can't even see your floor. I want to see how filled up it gets, though. So. Vibe with face says innocent until proven guilty. You know, people are going to hate on everything you do, right? I don't, I don't know how to feel one way or the other about whether he did it or not. But my thing is, I just think it's sad to have half your life, you know, be, you know, an inspiration and amazing at your craft. And then, you know, whether whatever happened, he did or didn't do it to like have that stigma around you. Even if you didn't do it, you know, especially if you didn't do it, that would hella suck. But hey, what do you, I think he had cancer or something like that. So cancer's a bitch. Cancer sucks. But he was proven innocent, but people wanted him to be guilty. The glove didn't fit, right? The glove didn't fit. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't, I've never even really, I wasn't as passionate about it as as a lot of people were. Like, I watched them, like, follow him in the white Bronco, like, the infamous highway chase. Like, I watched that, and I thought, dang. Like, I watched it, like, 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 how they watched, how the, how the guy watched, um, like, set it off. You guys remember that movie with Queen Latifah and the guy that sold him the guns? And they were watching it, like, Damn. Got the choppers on them and everything. It's over. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I was watching the OJ thing. But even with the trial, like I wasn't as into it as as most people were. Like I never felt one way or the other about his verdicts. So I don't know if he did it. I don't know if he didn't do it. I didn't pay attention to the trial that much. Innocent. They said, you know, they said he was innocent. They said the glove didn't fit, you know? So. But I was watching like another podcaster, podcaster though, that was talking about how like when black people talk about injustice in the, you know, like injustice to black people, you know, like crimes and stuff like that, that, uh, you know, other races are always like, well, what about OJ? He got off. <laughs> OJ, OJ is like, you know, is like the counter argument to um, injustice, you know. Well, what about OJ? He got off. We, we will forever have the what about OJ? He's always going to be the, you know, there is black people for justice. What about uh, the, you know, justice for black people? What about OJ? <laughs> you make me want to play this game again. Have a great night. Hope to see you again soon. I hope you do, Ken. Stay out of public lobbies, though. Somebody PVPs you, don't PVP back. They'll walk away. <laughs> It felt like a win for all black people at the time. Yeah, at the time. I didn't feel either one way about it or the other, but it did. It was a win. You know, black people took it as a win, but, you know, that win will go, you know, it's going to always be with us as, uh, well, what about OJ then? <laughs> you know, we let OJ go. Isn't that enough justice? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care that much about it. But anyway, it's sad to hear, you know, RIP OJ. For what good you did in the world. You know, he did bring smiles to people's faces at a time. So, uh, you know, he, he deserves respect for at least for that, you know, at least for being a master of his craft and inspiring people to be better at a certain point in his life, you know, so whatever, whatever. All right, I'm done talking. I think I've said enough here. Bam, thank you so much for hanging out today. If you want to hang out with me tomorrow i'll be on my other channel uh streaming i think i'm gonna stream tomorrow some starfield if you like space games uh i might come back on sunday i don't know i might do another stream uh for gta just because this week is so good i might do sunday um and just like try to grind out some of these crates try to fill up some of these warehouses and uh maybe duckfoot will hang out too he's available I need him around anyway. He takes care of my briefs. <laughs> Duckfoot is a man. Duckfoot, you look super fly. I got to admit, 
Rockstar, some of their clothes look hella dated, but that outfit right there, hella, hella cool, fam. Like you could walk out like in two, in 2024, go to a club and like be banging. You know what I'm saying? Like be so fashion forward. <laughs> All right, fam, we're going to go. Rest in peace, OJ. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. Before you go, subscribe if you want to subscribe and get notified and hit all the buttons, actually. There's a bunch of buttons. Just touch them all. Uh, just don't hit that like button twice because then it'll it'll unlike it, unlike it and then you have to, you know what I'm saying? So just just hit it, hit that like button one time and then hit everything else. I don't know, touch a bunch of stuff on the screen. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, anyway. Good night, Ricardo. Thank you for hanging out this whole time. Right on, fam. Great stream. Woot woot, says Keith. Woot woot, Keith. Uh, thank you for hanging out, boss man. By the way, Keith, thank you for being a member and supporting the channel. You too, Dugfoot. You too, mate. Dugfoot supports the channel, keeps the lights on around here, shows some love, uh, hangs out in the game, helps me deliver stuff, and plays with us and takes his time out of his day to uh entertain us you're freaking awesome duckfoot by the way duckfoot drive safe i know you drive for like you know that's what you do so drive safe whenever you tell me you're driving that's the first thing i think of like i hope he's driving safe <laughs> it's like the mom in me <laughs> or the big sis like oh he's out there on the road i don't know what you drive duckfoot but damn it i hope he's being safe Call me when you get home. <laughs> yeah, your friends tell you, call me when you get home. I just want to make sure you, you made it home safe, right? They never call you. All right, you talk to them two weeks later. Like, I guess I, I made it home just in case you were worried. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going, all right. All right, vibing with Faith. Thank you for hanging out tonight. Buccaneer Brews. Ciao, man. Thank you for uh, thank you for subscribing. And it was nice to meet you. I hope you come back. I hope it didn't scare you away. Hey, <laughs> you too, Ken. Uh, I hope I didn't scare you away. Hopefully we'll see you in a, in another stream. I, sh I should be back on Sunday. Maybe, 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 maybe. Wait, no, tomorrow's Friday. Saturday, I mean. Yes. Saturday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'll be back on Saturday to play. So that should be the weekend. If you guys want to play, come hang out. Come hang out and watch or watch us play or whatever. Hopefully uh, Duckfoot will be there. Uh, all right, okay, that's all I got. Shamble, thank you so much for keeping an eye over the uh, stream. Thank you for being here, fam. Big hugs and a kiss on the forehead to you. You know I mean that. Kisses to you, vibing with Faith. I said goodbye to bowling. Uh, who else? Yeah, Keith with the super chat. Hey, Keith. <laughs> all right on, fam. Thank you so much for the super chat. What, what's the guy going to say here? Woo woo, Keith. Woo woo. <laughs> right on, fam. Thank you for the super tech, Keith. Hugs and kisses to you, fam. Thank you so much. Randy, thank you for coming to hang out. Kisses to you if you're still here. Who else? Who else? Is that everybody? I said bowling, Spud Gunner. You guys are the best. Guys, thank you for those of you who are members. Thank you for being a member. Thank you for your support. Uh, woo woo. Here, I'm going to put a heart on that. Blake and Shaw. And I like it. Can I like it too? You see, now they won't let me like it. Thank you, Keith. Hugs and kisses to you, fam. Um, thank you uh, for having me. Vibing with Faith, thank you for showing up. Okay, for reals, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. <laughs> I gotta go finish building my outpost uh, for my other channel, so I'm gonna get on that. But thank you guys so much for joining. Love you guys. Thanks again to Dougfoot and everybody for being here. Keep grinding those uh, boxes. Keep filling up your uh, your warehouses. Make that money. This is the week to do it. Guys, get get those millions. I know I am. I know I am. Okay, I'm leaving for real. I'm, re I'm leaving for real, for real, for real, for real this time. Love you guys. Peace and love. Shout out in the chat to Dougfoot again. Show him some love. Throw some hearts in there. And I will see you guys in the next one. That's all I got. Peace.